the type, just ask you, first of all, you, you've obviously watched back again now. What was the, 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 the message and what's your own kind of feelings now looking back on, on the Indian game of the weekend? Uh, look, uh, England played incredibly well. Um, but at the same time, we were, when you look back, a bit frustrated with ourselves. Um, you know, we, we certainly didn't play anywhere near potential. Um, and, you know, it's, it's tough viewing for us when, when that happens and we're, we're hugely disappointed um, with parts of our, of our performance. Um, but, you know, it's, it's done now and we've, we've had to brush ourselves off and, uh, yeah. That was Saturday, so we're into we're into a massive week. So we we've done the review and uh, we're over it now, and we're we're focused on Scotland. Uh, Simon mentioned to us there that he, he felt we were a bit passive in mm. in, in, in defence. Is that um, something that as players you take kind of personally? Is that something that's, that's, that's a disappointing kind of aspect of it. One thing you really yeah. get right on the day. Yeah, I think you know whenever you watch a review like that, and you kind of. You see moments in the game where uh, you are passive and you're kind of inviting a team like England onto you. Uh, it, it is very tough for you, and you know we, we know we're much better than that. And, um, look, we we know we're better than that. Uh, it does hurt, especially when you watch watch it back. Um, we were desperate at times. We were we were doing things on our own, which is which is very unlike us. Um, and it's a performance that we'll we'll probably look back at um, for for a long time to to show what what not to do for 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 this Irish team because we know we're much better than that. On the positive side, a huge game coming up so soon and uh, a massive occasion on, on Saturday. What do you uh, expect it to be like, and and what's it like to have, I guess, uh, such a big game coming up with a championship on the line that you can turn things around really quickly? Yeah, I was saying out there, like Pete even said it to us yesterday. Um, and we we're kind of licking our wins a bit. We we're kind of saying we have to get over ourselves now. He says he's been, he said he's been in many, many championships going into the final week where they've just been going into play a dead rubber. Um, we're in a very privileged position this week where we have an opportunity to win the Six Nations, um, a back-to-back -back Six Nations, which which hasn't been done too often. Um, so you know it's a very exciting week for us as a group. For us as a as a country, uh, Ireland, um, you know, we get, we have an opportunity to give the fans something to celebrate this weekend. If we if we can right those wrongs from last week and put in a serious performance, um, and that's where the focus is. The focus is on, you know, putting in a much better performance and uh, getting the win this weekend and lifting that trophy. Time, um, how do you feel about the line out both sides of the ball? Okay. Yeah, look. Uh, you know, with with the team England picked, they're obviously targeting that area, and they they did. They got after one or two balls. So probably, you know, hindsight's a great thing, isn't it? I probably kicking myself for one or two calls as well um, that that they stole. Um, you know, we kind of went away f defensively a little bit from what we'd been doing, um, which is also which was which was tough to tough to watch back, um, frustrating. So. There, there are areas that you know you, you switch off for one second and um, you know you lose a moment and it, it can cost you co cost you. Um, but you know I think if we get those things right, we'll be we'll be back to where we've had the line in this campaign. On the whole, would you say you're you're confident about that area again? Because often in the section, particularly the New Zealand game, this game, mm. people kind of focus on those moments where you do lose. Yeah, of course, because there, it's always a big moment when you if you steal a line out or if you lose a line out. There, there are big moments in games, and sometimes teams just guess the right area, and there's nothing you can do. And then sometimes there's bad calls, you know. Um, and credit to England, the, the you know the the one that before le that led to Pete's yellow card. They they did an incredibly defensive line out. Like we we had scouted them, we thought we could get them in that area, but. They defended it well. Um, maybe I shouldn't have made that call. I, I probably could have went to an easier call, but you know sometimes you want a backer drill, and that's what I, I did. But it was it was a wrong decision. So yeah, as I said, you can't you can't dwell on those things. We're we're focused on Scotland now and uh, how they defend and how they they attack, and hopefully we'll get it right this weekend. You said to Murray there that on the defensive line, that he went away from some of the things you were you were doing well previously. Mm -hmm. Can you? 
elaborate on that? Like, what, what we just didn't. We didn't get in the air when we should have, and you know there was one or two where, where look, I could have gotten in the air, and uh, I just for a split second I doubt doubt myself, and then I don't jump, and you know, if, uh, you know, early in the campaign I probably wasn't doing that, so I don't know why in the day uh, at that moment I did it. Um, same with later in the game, same thing happened. So. For, for a number of us, um, and you know, it's one little one little thing. You know, if you're gonna, we got We said at the start we we're gonna back ourselves in defence, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll certainly be going back to that again. And then, obviously, this time last year when the lads were going for the Grand Slam, you were injured at the time. How excited are you about the the potential and prospect of being able to to win a, a Six Nations trophy on the pitch this, this year? <laughs> yeah, it's huge. You know, like it, it's funny. I, I, I was saying last year, it's you're obviously a part of everything that had happened, and it's tough not being involved. And um, you know, if I'd have played the last two games, maybe I would have it would have been a different experience. But like, I still played a big part last year. I feel, and um, it, it was still tough not being on the field. So it would be nice if we if we do get to win, and I am on the field. So fingers crossed. And so you mentioned not being happy with the performance against England and you wanted to learn from it. Was there anything that was different ahead of the game, mood-wise, or anything in the camp that you felt was different going into it? Uh, no, not really. I think we were... We felt, we felt good going into the game. We felt like we, we trained well all week. Um, you know, I think we just just didn't perform as well as we, we would have liked, but you can... At the same time, that's down to England as well. They put their stamp on the game early on, and we didn't adjust and we didn't um, come together and and figure it out and get back to what we know. And uh, you know, as so I said, defensively we were passive and we stayed passive for pretty much the whole game. And um, discipline let us down at crucial times. And you know, it's probably it's probably been an area for us that have been so good the last. Two years, even, um, and over the last couple of games, that's the one area where we feel like we haven't improved. Where, even though we said we should improve in that area, so that's going to be a massive focus for us this weekend as well. So, um, you know, you have to give credit to England. They they put a stamp on the game, and we didn't adjust, and that's probably what led to our poor performance. And a championship on the line, so really exciting. It's hard to, to come by Six Nations championships. How will it be for the team now to part? the England defeat and move on and, and look to beat in Scotland? Um, yeah, look, we've been in the situation before and, uh, you know, it, it's about dusting ourselves off quickly. It, our Scotland are in the same boat. They're going to be hurting from last week as well, but they have an opportunity to win silverware. To, you know, they can win a triple crown this weekend. Um, and we have an opportunity to win the Six Nations. And, you know, we're both in the same position. We're both like like chomping at the bit to get back out there and we want to obviously show show the Irish uh get back to our best and show what we're capable of and uh right the wrong for last week. Thank you. Keen Murray. Uh Ty just sorry, a bit off topic but we're just asking signing so speaker Anton Frisch. Um you obviously gave him the week in week in week out he's been a brilliant signing for Munster. Do you think he's good enough for any to step up to international rugby and you'd be disappointed if it's in blue and not <laughs> Yeah look uh Credit to him, um, well deserved. He's been playing really well for for most of the last, you know, since he's arrived. Um, and fair play to him. All I can say is congratulations to him. It's a it's a it's a massive opportunity for him, and I'm sure he'll uh, he'll do his best to take it. If I just on the Scots, like people will see your hands record against him. They see last weekend and they lost the eighteen. They're probably going to be written off a bit. Why? How big a threat are they, and why are they? Trying? I think the only people who are writing them off will be the media, like, yeah. and so I don't we, know we, we, we certainly you. won't be. Um, you know, every time we play them, it's, it's a tough game. Um, you know, you look at the last Six Nations, it was a tight <laughs> game for a, for a lot of that game. Um, you know, even you know, every time we play them, it's, it's tough. Their attack is, you know, it's, it, it's wide, it's quick, um, uh, and it's unpredictable, you know, at times. and. Uh, you know they they've shown they can they can beat uh, any team out there when they're on it, um, and they'll certainly be turning up this Saturday to be honest. Um, and it's up to us to put our kind of mark on the game and make sure make sure we we nullify that.
All right. Thanks, Dolly. Thanks, Rosie. Thanks, Dolly.